so hello students today we are going to start our geography classes but before going to the chapter uh, let us discuss our content so if you see the contents then you can see your book is divided into two parts part one that is map work and part two that is geography of india and part one is further subdivided into two parts first part is section a it means two sections section a interpretation of topographical map and section b map of india okay so from this part that is map work this is as i told you this is practical part from this work there will be questions of 30 marks in your examination okay? and in this uh, section section a we will learn about topographical maps okay topographical maps that is prepared by survey of india then in section b we will learn map of india okay we will learn a uh, uh, map of india and as i told you this part consists of 30 marks so students if you see the part two then part two is geography of india so here we will learn geography of india in uh, very detail okay especially in this part we will learn about the location of india on the globe and its longitudinal and latitudinal extent uh, beside this climates of india we will learn climates of india then uh, its soil resources natural vegetation found in india water resources and uh, many more things minerals and etc we will learn in this uh, part that is part two so questions will be of of 50 marks in your examination and 20 marks will be internal assessment but students let me make one thing clear here whatever i am explaining here about marks distribution especially of part one and part two that is 30 and 50 that is on the basis of syllabus of 2020 and 21 prepared by icsc board okay so i think this year also it will be it will remain same okay so uh, so students without wasting our time let us begin our first part that is part one map work and this is practical part students so for this part online classes are not enough for that we need some offline classes also so let us see later uh, if conditions will be good favorable then we will uh, learn in offline classes also uh, about so some concept of this part okay so part one map work and as and as i told you that from this part there will be questions of 30 marks okay so uh, part one map work that is interpretation of the topographical map one okay now students before starting this uh, chapter that is interpretation of topographical map let us understand the meaning of interpretation okay in simple word if i will tell you then interpretation means explanation so explanation of topographical maps so especially in this chapter topographical maps are explained okay explained with the help of some symbols some colors grids etc now students let us see the definition of map okay not topographical map here here we will understand map what is map okay so map is nothing but it is it is a representation of whole or a part of earth on a flat surface okay see students uh, camera is not good so that's why i have written all these things uh, in capital letter okay so that you can see it but students if it is not clear then you can adjust with the quality video quality so that you can see it okay so map is nothing but it is a representation of earth or a part of earth on a flat surface okay so students what is map map is nothing but it is a representation of earth or a part of earth surface on a flat paper or piece of cloth or maybe on the ground that is only map in other word we can say map is nothing but it is a, but it is a simplified depiction of whole or a part of earth surface on a flat surface okay that is only map that is definition of the map now it is 2d form of 3d earth so map is two dimensional right but our earth is three dimensional so here 2d means two dimensional right it means length and breadth so map has only length and breadth but our earth is 3d okay it means it has three dimensions length breadth and height representation of different features are also simplified by using different symbols colors and shades so students on the map okay drawing everything every features that on the that surface is impossible if we make 
so or if you do so then map will become very dirty it will become very crowded suppose if you are making the map of our uh, place then we have to make everything there okay so it will make our map very dirty and it makes uh, make making very uh, difficult and to understand also it make uh, very difficult so that's why to make map reading and map making easy we or the cartographer cartographers are the people who makes the map okay so cartographers what they do they use different symbols signs and colors to make map reading and map making easy okay so that's why here it is written representation of the different features are also simplified by using symbols colors and shades okay suppose uh, if you have to show the uh, temple uh, somewhere on the map then there is a symbol for the temple if you have to show uh, what called uh, church then there is a symbol for the church that we will learn in our next classes map gives us large information at a glance as i told you map is nothing but it is a representation of the earth surface on a flat paper right but do you know this map is very informative okay it contains lot of information and we can understand maps by looking once only it means at a glance only we can understand we can get uh, large information from the map so that's why here it is written map gives us large information at a glance okay now for whom maps are important okay so maps are important for geographer planners navigators army personnel teachers students tourists etc okay almost every in every department people use maps but here i have given you some examples only that are given in your book uh, first very important tool for geographer so whatever research geographer do they carry out with the help of maps only without map we cannot imagine geographers and geography okay that is the first thing so it is very important tools for the geographer next here we have planners so people who plans the city okay what they do first first they make maps on the basis of their plan how they are going to make cities or city then after that only they start construction work there to uh, develop that city okay next here we have navigators 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 in simple language i will say that is sailors na those who sail on the seas and oceans so especially navigators will have only two equipment with them one is compass which shows the direction and another thing that is very important for them that is that is map okay so map is also important for the navigator those who sails on the seas and oceans with the help of maps only they will carry on their voyage or their journey okay next here we have for army personnel very important here army personnel our soldiers na armies what they do they will also have map with them so with the help of map only they moves on the jungle and and on the borders and with the help of that maps only they find out all the physical features on the that area suppose they have to find out some cave uh, some water to drink they have to find out streams and then they have to find out uh, some other uh, physical features like mountains some buildings then with the help of that map only they get information about that place so map is very important for army personnel also okay then beside this for teachers so next is for teachers for me see see i am here teacher and i am teaching you geography okay so without map i cannot teach you geography since this map is very important tool for me to make you understand the geography and maps and all the things so without help of without the help of map i cannot teach you so for so for the teachers also map is very important and for students okay you also learning you are also learning uh, maps here so you also need maps to learn uh, uh, the things whatever things we are learning on here okay and then tourist 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 what they do nowadays we have google map right on the mobile we have google map so suppose if you are going to uh, as a tourist if you are going to uh, some places like uh, suppose we are going to delhi so we have to go chandni chowk so nowadays we cannot uh, trust on the people okay 
so what we can do we just take out our mobile and we search our location where we have to go chandni chok so that map is also helping tourist yes or no it is also helping to you so that's why maybe it's also helpful for tourists and it is important for all these people besides that there are many more you can also find out these people who use map even administrators also they use maps okay so here this is the important tools for geographer remember planners navigators army personnel teachers students tourists and many more uh, other organizations okay uh, keep in your mind now next student we will see elements of maps or in your book it is written essentials of maps so there are four elements sorry four elements which are very essential and very important for the map without this map is incomplete okay what are these four elements okay first one that is title second one is scale third one is direction and fourth one is key so remember this is very important point what are the four elements of the map okay title scale direction and key okay so title the scale direction and key are essential elements on or of maps okay first one you will see title what is the meaning of title suppose students we are making map of india so there will be title of title for this map right map of india and further if you are showing population then there will be map of population if you are showing physical features then physical features so first and foremost thing map needs title of which place and what we are showing there that is uh, uh, first one that is called title you cannot imagine any map without title second one scale okay so while making map one should maintain scale of the map okay without scale map cannot be imagined now student third one is direction okay so you have to understand direction of the map suppose here suppose here you can see this map so on the map always remember top part will be always north direction then downward is south right one word it means right word is east and left side is west top north remember down south right east and this part it means left side is west okay so this is the direction of map it we have to maintain this direction or you cannot make map of india literally literally inverted you understood now what is the meaning you cannot make in this way so that we have to uh, keep in our mind now students fourth one is key which is also called legend so here you can see this one is called legend okay here it is written reference but legend legend so what are legend legends are nothing but they are sign symbols and colors that are used on the map to show any physical features it may be natural or it may be man made features so okay. this, these are the four elements or essentials that must contain a map title remember scale then direction then key now students let us see the classification of maps so there are different types of maps okay we will see all these types so first here you can see types of map maps are further classified on the basis of scale and function okay scale on the basis of scale maps are divided into two parts that is large scale map and small scale map now second part is map is divided on the basis of function okay political map physical map thematic map and there are some other maps also that we will learn later but on your book only this uh, are given so that's why we will learn only these things so students as i told you there are different types of maps broadly maps are divided into two categories that is on the basis of scale and on the basis of function on the basis of scale that is large scale map and small scale map now first we will see large scale map so what is large scale map so students large scale map is that map which shows small area in big detail understood na small area but information is given in detail that is called large scale map okay remember uh, an example of this map is cadastral map 
and topographical map especially we are going to learn in this chapter that is the main thing okay so remember topographical maps comes in the category of large scale map so okay example are cadastral map and topographical maps then now next is small scale map so i think you got what is small scale map a small scale map is that map which shows very large area with less information got for it? example atlas maps and then wall maps all these are examples of small scale map now let us come to this side maps are also divided on the basis of function okay now first is political map political maps are those maps which shows political boundaries of the country or state so you might have seen on the map of india boundaries are given okay first boundary of india that separate our country from other countries then then in our country also uh, states are uh, there and they have their boundaries like uh, assam then maharashtra uttar pradesh etc and etc so in the political map boundaries of the countries are shown boundaries of the states are shown and their capitals and main cities are shown these kind of maps are called political map okay and the second one is physical map physical map is that map in which only physical features are shown only physical features are shown uh, like mountain plains plateau okay uh, gulf then some water bodies uh, river stream lake then desert all these things all these physical features are shown on physical map okay now third one is thematic map thematic map so here you can see thematic means here theme it comes na theme so thematic maps have their own theme okay own theme suppose if one map is showing about the population distribution then that is called thematic map if map is showing about the distribution of natural vegetation then that is thematic map so these maps are made on the basis of a theme on a theme so that map is called thematic map that is theme so this much only for today's class we will be continuing our lecture in next class okay so till then take care and go through the lecture very nicely and read your book very well so that you can get very good